Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer writing in here. This is Nathan Sims writing in, in an email, and he's kind of perplexed about an all-in-one, an ultra zoom, if you will, versus a interchangeable lens camera, an MILC in this case, mirrorless. He's looking at the FZ2500 from Panasonic, which is an incredible offering in and of itself, versus the GH5, which is also an incredible offering in and of itself, and hence where he's trying to decide what to do. So he says, Panasonic Lumix FZ2500 against the Panasonic GH5. I mostly shoot music videos and commercials. I love the built-in ND filters of the FZ2500. I'm worried about low light and IBIS, and I do not want to spend a lot on lenses. I've seen amazing videos about the GH5. Autofocus is still an issue. Does the FZ2500 have the same autofocus issues as well? Thanks, Matt. I watch all of your shows and value your opinion. And uh, so that's Nathan writing it. And uh, thanks, Nathan. Appreciate your question. Um, yes and yes. <laughs> that would be my answers to you. Um, autofocus, if you think the GH5 has issues with autofocus, and by that I say, because I think, I don't think it has autofocus issues. I think it just doesn't autofocus as well as some people were hoping in terms of constant video focus during video, like similar to what the Canon dual pixel AF can do. The GH5 can't meet it at the moment. It can't can't meet it or beat it. Um, Panasonic has announced that they are working on this and they expect it to be better than any other camera out there. So right now we've got Sony and Canon doing that the best and Panasonic is saying that with some refinements, they have said that the GH5 will beat both of those, which is interesting. We don't have it yet, but they're working on it and they have committed to that. So... That'll be interesting to see. Is the FZ2500 better than the GH5? No, I don't think so. I think you wouldn't find it any better in that area because that is the area I believe you're talking about is a constant video focus. They're, they'd be about the same probably with the nod going to the GH5. So if that is an issue for you and you need that kind of dual pixel AF out of the Canons or the, I forget what Sony calls it, but basically they would be almost as good as the dual pixel AF that Canon offers then neither of those are really going to float your boat. Maybe the GH5 will once Panasonic has tweaked it, but you're not going to see better in-camera AF uh, during video from the FZ2500 than you're going to see out of the GH5 at the moment. So if that's what your hope is, no, I'm sorry to disappoint, but I think I think you would be let down thinking that might be the case and then buying it, and I don't want to mislead you there. Um, I think, though, that you could still make do with either one. If you're worried about low light Nibis, um, the GH5 would be the way to go in the sense of low light, being able to use interchangeable lenses and getting into their vast array from Panasonic of low light lenses. But you said you don't want to spend a lot on a lens. So it's very hard to get the best of everything for the cheapest price. Um, you, you got to pay for some of these features. And in that case, the GH5 will give you them but you have to buy the lenses that are going to allow you to open up that low light world to you, as well as perhaps speed boosters, right? So uh, I wouldn't say that the FZ2500 is going to solve if you have issues with the GH5 as far as its in-camera, like the, the in-video focus during video, the, the ability to follow a subject. The FZ2500 isn't going to be any better than that. It may be as well once they find the tweak for the GH5. They may push it down to the 2500 because the FZ2500 is a very high-end camera for them in that type of camera. But I, th I think I'm basically answering your question there. So what do you guys think, though? Do you agree with me? Do you think if he thinks the GH5 uh, video focus isn't going to be good enough that the FC2500 wouldn't be as well. I, I think that's pretty much a given. Um, do you think he should hold out hope for, you know, Panasonic has said they're going to make the GH5 better than, equal to or better than the Sony and the Canon. Should he wait? Should he go ahead with the GH5? Should he hope it's going to come down to the FZ2500? Let us know in the comments below what you think, what he should do. Let's try and help out Nathan. Thanks for your question, Nathan. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.